starts up and then we'll resume from there. Alright, so Ubuntu has finished starting. Uh, here is the installation screen. Uh, you've got a couple of choices. You can say try Ubuntu. If you do that, it will just finish loading the desktop and then you can go on your way with using it. Uh, let's go ahead and install it uh, because it's fairly easy to install and doesn't take very much time. Alright, so here are the minimum requirements for it and we can have it download and install updates right now if we want. We can have it install some third-party software if we want. We're not going to do that because that would take a lot of time, but uh, you, you can do that if you want it to make sure it's all up to date when you start. It'll also install third-party plugins like Flash, uh, which will make your life a lot easier if you want Flash. So let's click forward. And we'll have it use the entire disk. We'll say forward. And install now. All right, now it's going through and installing. So again, uh, it can take a little while for the install to run. So I'm go just going to pause the video again. Uh, oh, sorry, uh, one last thing. Uh, I'm asking for the time zone. It actually auto-detected our time zone already. So we'll click forward. Alright, so Ubuntu has finished copying files, uh, so now we're just going through the final installation steps. Uh, we pick the, the USA keyboard layout, we say forward. We put in a username. And we'll call it Ubuntu VirtualBox. Put in a username and password. Yeah. Pick a stronger one. Alright, and now that we've entered our password, we will click forward. Now it's just finishing up the last part of the installation. Okay, so the installation is finished. Uh, this is what the screen will look like at the end. So when we hit restart, the virtual machine will restart. And when it comes back up, it will boot off the hard drive, or the virtual hard drive, into uh, the Ubuntu environment. Now, uh, just to be safe, uh, now you see here it's saying please remove the media. Uh, we're going to hit the control button on the right side of the keyboard um, which will release our mouse uh, from the virtual machine. And we go into the CDs and devices and we say unmount and that will disconnect the CD drive from the uh, from the virtual machine. So after we've unmounted, we go ahead and press enter. And now the virtual machine is restarting. You see here's the BIOS, the uh, post screen for the virtual machine, and it's starting up Ubuntu now off the hard drive. So I'm going to pause the video again while it starts up. All right, our virtual machine is done starting up. So I'll go ahead and click on my username and uh, enter my password. and the virtual machine logs in. Now there's a couple of things to note. Uh, one is that the mouse performance is not too great. It, you can see it jumps around a lot in the virtual machine whereas it doesn't really jump around at all outside the virtual machine. So uh, there's uh, various other problems uh, you might run into. Uh, you heard the sound is working now. Uh, but what we want to do is we want to install the guest editions. Now uh, most of the major network distribution or virtual machine uh,
software packages have something similar to this. Uh, in this case, uh, VirtualBox calls it guest additions, VMware calls it uh, VMware tools, etc. Uh, so we're just going to click on that button and it will now uh, try to install the uh, guest editions. Once the guest editions are installed, we'll have better video driver, we'll have better sound driver, uh, we'll have, be able to interact with the virtual machine um, in a lot of other ways. Uh, we'll be able to mount USB drives on it, etc. All right, so now since we clicked on the uh, install guest editions, uh, it, what it does is it actually mounts the uh, guest editions ISO, our CD image, on the virtual machine. And so we have to install it from that. So we'll, uh, our mouse is a little jumpy still. We go to places and VBox editions. And that mounts the CD on the virtual machine. And here is what the guest editions uh, CD looks like. You see there's the executables for Windows guest machines. You know, if we're going 32-bit or 64-bit, uh, you know, we, we've got those. Now, in here we've got some scripts for installing the virtual machine editions. So we're just going to go ahead and hit open and it's going to try to automatically do the install for us. So let's click run.